It's all gamer. Have you played any yeah. video games lately? Games I'm playing. 36. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> what? This is definitely different. So well, welcome back to another episode, and job. yes, I had to do a parody of Red Letter Media there. It's just too much fun what? to do, this and we have not been drinking this beer. No! Uh, we actually don't drink beer here anymore, not at all, but uh, it was really fun to, to pick up some of these beers. Not sponsored, by the way, or anything like that. We just thought it'd be fun wow. for the set. Uh, mimicking no Red idea. Letter Media. Did you see the, the new scared. Alien film? But we're here to I talk about some this. games we've been just playing recently, and I'll ask you guys, what are you playing? Are you playing a brand new game, an old game? Yeah. Let us know down below. Yeah, and yes, the Kim dead. Meister is here. <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot of games to talk about this yeah. month. That is for sure. We're gonna get to Kim's bit in a bit because yeah. we have to talk about some other games. There's so many games. It's like ridiculous. It's fun. Uh, it, it has been so fun. Much fun. I played a lot of that. I've been playing a little game right. with my daughter. Yes. Yeah, it's called Astrobot. Astro oh, it's so cute for her age. Nice. It is, it is. And let me say, I somebody who doesn't want to push video games on my child no. at mm -hmm. all. I want her to do her own thing. Her That's own thing. But I was playing this game, and she kind of wandered in, games. and she's like, Daddy, what is this? And I'm like, it's a video game. She's like, no, technology. it's not. Let me tell you, daughter. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, no, it's a movie. Yeah. And she was like, and I, so what we did was we got her a fake controller mm -hmm. and she was playing alongside nice. me. And that game, I just want to say that Astrobot is a phenomenal mm -hmm. game. Why do you say that? It's it's got so much charm. There's so much addiction to it. This there's so much to uncover. It's just brilliant. They really spent a lot of time <laughs> to get this game right. It is the Sony equivalent of Mario. Yeah, because I want to play this game on it. Sadly, it's not on PC. What do you think? What do you think about it? Walking in the room. Oh, when you said come t check this out, I was like, yeah. oh, okay, fine. Like I wasn't too I wasn't too expected what to yeah. expect. Yeah, amazing really. so far though. And then like the graphics and everything, yeah. like you said, the charm. This. Like this is really cute. It's really cute. And it's really fun and like interactive. So I decided that right? I'm just yeah. gonna start yeah. reacting to all kinds of so different many. things. So many game. puzzles. But when you get some of those Astrobots, and it could be like any no, character, just, like, like game trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like. Or just I like this different game. things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's so much to it, and it's one of those mm. games I keep going back this to and trying to unlock John. more Astrobots and uh, find the them shame. across the, the universe. It that is deeply yes. addicting. And even when I got past the review phase of like playing the game, yeah. I just kept going. I'm like, no, I want completion. Yes. I want to try to find all these Astrobots. And yeah. I'm telling you, I'm still going crazy because I <laughs> I had it for review, mm. and so there's no walkthroughs. So I'm like. Where yeah. is that Astrobot in that level? Yeah. And just trying beautiful. to find it can be Definitely overwhelming. But fun. But fun. <laughs> and so that's been a real charming game and one that I've said that everybody who has a PS5 should get. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's For like sure. a perfect family game. <laughs> oh, right? I agree. Perfect family game. Let's go. So aside from Astrobot, what else have you been playing? You haven't even seen this because I was playing it in the other room on the Nintendo Switch, Ooh. and that is okay. Emio, the Smiling Man. I've never played right that. That's, that's where this whole that's where that gimmick okay. came. From. Yeah, this is where this all came from <laughs> because we mm. played the first two games, and I've never murder. tried this franchise. The murder stuff, yes, yeah, and you liked them. I did, but I loved them. <laughs> so what this game is is it's a visual novel. Mm. And it's a detective story. It's a, a Famicom detective story. And we got the first two games out here. We didn't get physical copies, which is a travesty, mm -hmm. but we did get a physical copy of this. And so it's kind of, you would mm -hmm. like it because I know yeah. you like the, the murder smile. mystery stuff. I do. I, I know you like those I love my murder the podcast. The podcast, I was about to say. Kim's obsessed with murder podcasts. It's crazy. <laughs> and in this, mm -hmm. there's been a mysterious death. Somebody got strangled. You guys think of this thing now? And there's an Down urban legend of this smiling man. <gasps> yes, a guy who wears a bag on his head with a smiley face. This right here, I recreated it really, really well. Yeah. And so there's an urban legend that three girls a long time ago got murdered by this smiling man. Or is it an urban legend? Or did it really happen? Or was it just a murderer? We're trying to get to the bottom of it. And so I understand why a lot of people don't like this game, including yourself. I know you're not totally into it. Maybe just, it could yeah. be at yeah, slow yeah, pace. I don't know. It's very I think that's what it's like. I don't some mind slow some slow pace, okay, yeah, but yeah. like it's a lot of like reading. I would have to play it to see it. And it's interesting because you love reading books. I do. But this is kind of like reading books, choose your own adventure. 
kind of picking you know what you want to do next or what questions you want to ask different things open up I understand basically you just click in on everything until you get to until the next thing happens. that's realistically what happens right. but there is an investigation mode in here we can kind of look at the crime scenes and see if there's anything else that the investigators missed that you figured out and then you go and interview people and there's a lot of interviewing people a lot of back so many games and it is slow paced, but I love it. It's the kind of game that you yeah. play on a cold winter day with a blanket that. around yeah. you I can see with that. some hot chocolates. Ooh, I really like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's and exactly. marshmallows. Yeah, and some Baileys, and <laughs> we're just adding it up. But uh, and then just, just playing this game and just doing the investigation and getting closer to finding out who the murderer is. And I hear it's not a long game, it's about 15 hours. Oh, perfect. I'm past the first two chapters. And I'm going to continue on. I, I really want to find out I'm who this smiling man is, and is he out. real? <laughs> and Kim is playing a massive game. She's still at it. What game is it? That would be Baldur's Gate 3, and Dang. I am well over 100 yeah, hours, apparently. I know Kim, it was the other day, she's like, oh, I'm 70 Definitely hours in. I'm like, nope, we're 100 hours in. Yeah, Which is surprisingly, stick. because I almost quit this game. I have to keep going. Yes. yes. Now, why was that the case? The it was just so intimidating. It was such a large world. It's nothing that I've ever done before. And I just thought it was super overwhelming. A long way to go still. And yet, when I messaged my friend about it, yeah. she just pushed me through it. She's like, no, don't worry. The beginning's a little bit of a struggle, but if you persevere, it's gonna be so much fun. Didn't well, believe her. It so far. And now I'm at 100 it's plus hours. So, especially what did you on change? This I did have to change her job because at the beginning it wasn't working out for me. And once I've done that, it made it a lot more easier. I started gaining more characters, which is what helps you in the long run. You need to collect the characters so that you can all fight together. Yes. She'll take good care of you. Not only that, this beautiful open world is so immersive, so wonderful. The story yeah, play is great. Sure. The character development is great. Just the design Such in itself, amazing. you get lost in this the world, is absolutely music, beautiful. It's gorgeous wax enthusiastically. Game. I'm happy to say I'm going to be on Act 3. Yay! And I just, yeah. I don't want to finish it, <laughs> did, but I know I have to finish it. <laughs> did you know there's some statistics out there that say 49% of people that play Baldur's Gate 3 only get through yeah. the first chapter, they never get past that. They really? never get past. They're usually stuck in that first uh, act, and they don't get past that. Oh wow! So, like you, where you were about to quit, yes, a, a whole bunch of other people, yeah. like forty-nine percent. I can see it. Of people, yeah, because it's overwhelming. Game. It's just very, even for me, looking at the game, it's very intimidating. Intimidating. The, the yeah. amount of mm. menus and subscreens. I'm oh, like, what gosh. is going on here? And encumbered. Mm. Yeah. Oh, encumbrance. Oh my gosh! Did not like that. Didn't no. know anything about it. I'm like, why is my character so slow? And you're know, like. I gotta introduce yeah. you to something. <laughs> yeah, encumbrance once again. But what do you think of the combat? I know you, I hear yes. him screaming and uh, sometimes it's like, uh, like laughing and happy. There's all sorts of emotions going on there. Because you know yep. me and strategies are game. not friends. There's a lot of yeah, she parts, like strategy. Like, and there's a amount of times <sighs> that I've had to restart yeah. fights yeah. until I figure out mm -hmm. you have to put one character over here, really another is. one there, and you have to have them go underneath really something so it hits them. Well, it and it's will just beat you it's a lot of thinking. I mean, yeah. I'm used to playing mm -hmm. Dragon Quest where it's turn based. This is like you gotta know which spells you're gonna cast because you might run out of spells and yeah. then they might come back at you. Like there was a time where I was playing and I thought it was done, but of course they bring back another monster. I'm like, I'm going to die, and that's when you got up and left the room. Oh, I, 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 do, I do that a lot. I've said that over the years. Like, Kim's doing a boss, and as soon as she starts swearing, I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. What now? Overall, I actually haven't asked you this. What would you give this game out of 10 so far? You're 100 hours I don't rate it. I'm going to say... Yeah, probably amazing, a nine out of sure. Really? Yes. I mean, you guys at the think beginning, it, there I is mean, no hand holding, which I get. Comments. Sometimes you just don't get those in games. But like you said, people who quit this game is because of that. They just needed to like really kind of introduce people into the game. Yeah, a little bit slower. Rather bit than easier. oh, by the way, this is how it is, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Right. right. So that's where I it see it. I mean, I'm not completely done. No. So we'll see where that nine turns into. Finish. The job. Getting back to some games I've been playing here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I brought these out for a reason. Because I did an episode mm -hmm. called Gaming Regrets. 
and some of the regrets uh, I have and we have had with gaming over the years. And one of the regrets I, I have was for the PS5 BR2. He does not look like he's Because in we just 50s. felt like we never got enough play out of it. You know what I mean? I agree. We, we never really did. Kim loved Grand yeah, Turismo, yeah. and uh, grand I love the Resident Evil totally games. Believe. And then I just kind of sat behind the TV collecting and dust. And, and I said in that episode that there's a few games that I was going to try. Hair. One of them was Legendary <laughs> John, Tales. You have amazing hair. And this game was like, ooh, I think this is like medieval, right up, medieval, <laughs> right, right up my alley. And Kim was mm -hmm. filming me, like playing it for a little bit and stuff like that. And yes, you get a sword, you get a shield. Beautiful. It's, yeah, we love that stuff. <laughs> Fighting skeletons, it's a dream. I would have, like, as a kid, I couldn't have even oh, imagined. Can you imagine? Something. I love AR. You're freaking out. I remember, Graf like, in, like, 1988, si <laughs> sitting on the track, you know, track, doing track and field in gym that day, and I had this big revelation moment where I'm like, I really, like, I, I was really kind of starting to get into Dungeons and Dragons. I'm like, I really like skeletons and dungeons. It was like, a, I remember having that thought on the track, and I'm like, it's cold, crappy day out. I'm like, I really like this kinds of stuff. And then your life was just in that direction ever since. <laughs> yeah, my life just became that, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> but it's so funny to have that kind of moment on the track, and there I am in VR in the year 2024, 20, fighting the skeletons. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks fun though. I, the one thing what I want to say about the game is a very confident game, but for me, not being in VR for a while, it was a little mm -hmm. overwhelming. Like a shock. I, yeah, and it doesn't handheld you know, hold for you. Like you talking about Baldur's Gate, yeah. this game, this game throws you in. It's like here's some tutorials. He's like, uh, I'm in VR, yes. and he like tutorials, and I'm like, grabbing things. I'm like, how do I get this into my menu? And I'm, I'm dropping my sword, picking it up. It was mass hysteria, and I'm like. You never make it as a knight. <laughs> I well, in reality, I probably would, but in VR, and I'm getting the VR sweats. So I'm like moving. I'm like, why am I? I'm just like, I wish the game just kind of held my hand for a little bit uh, and brought me into it a little bit uh, easier. But I had a, a little bit of a hard time just jumping There's into a, it. But then like I started kind of getting the, hand, you know, sure. the, the hang of it and start you know, swinging my sword around, defending, and I'm like, oh this God. is cool, and opening up doors and. Nice. Climbing on things, it was like oh, wow. surreal, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to this game. You've got to try it. Oh. Uh, you got to try. You'll, oh, I, I finished Baldur's Gate. <laughs> finished Baldur's Gate, and then that's another thing. Kim is gonna move on to the Legend of Zelda. Oh yes. Echoes of Wisdom. Looking forward to that one. That's, never done a game like that. Ne Kim's never done a Zelda game before, and she's like, yeah, I think I kind of would like to play that. I'm like, Amazing. that's your game. That's what you gonna do. Oh yeah, it's Zelda. That's an amazing game. Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. So I many amazing games. I mean, it's been games. so far a good year for Dude, video games. I, I think year. so. I think We're not even done. More yeah, it's been a good games, year for video games, except for Concord. Yeah. Hasn't been a good year for Concord. <laughs> <laughs> that game just got pulled Ouch. by Sony. Yeah, really, I really crazy with that it one. It kind of so came and went. Goodbye. And I just want to say for that game, I, oh my god, the character designs mm. were just horrendous. Where's this coming from? Yeah, you showed me. I yeah, like, and you know, it's not about like diverse characters. No, we, we love all of that kind of stuff. We have no problem with that. They're just ugly designs. Yeah. You know, just like gigantic characters. It's like, man, and they're running around with guns? Like, really? Yeah. I don't think they could run that fast. This will be fun. <laughs> but somehow in the game, they run super fast. I I was not a fan of, of Concord's design. I even said that when I first saw the trailers. Yeah. I'm like, this this is not for me. I don't know who this is for. when people work so hard. You know what, and, and I think a lot, there was a lot of people in the company that did work hard on the game it's and really inspired now. for it to be good, but then you had all these bad design decisions and all these bad ideas. Learning lessons. Learning well, lessons. it's an expensive learning lesson. It's like over $200 million learning oh lesson. My. And Sony had to pull after two weeks. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. Has that ever been heard of? Uh, has that ever happened? It kind of happened with Cyberpunk. It got pulled down for a bit and then put back up. Yeah. But it's for, for them to invest in such an expensive game. I just want to say for anybody watching at Sony. That's a lot. If anybody is watching, that really think about what gamers want. We want to play as cool looking characters. I don't yeah. want to play as a character that looks like me. Yeah. I don't want to be in a video game. I don't want anybody who represents me in a video game. I want to see like a super strong, ridiculously overpowered, mm. awesome looking ninja character or something. Or there's or, my character. I want to be a high elf. Yeah, My friend's like, like you're high elf. I'm like, That's yeah, and even so Kim, and, and even Kim will chime in with her her thoughts on yes. good looking female always. characters again. Always, I always pick the hottest ones. Yeah, we want good looking always. female characters again. Oh my God, have you seen? And the, even men. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, we agree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, my God, you know, we like Fable growing up. 
You oh, should yeah. see that main character in Babel. I was like, what is going on here? We hate you. When you put out a character that looks really, like, not good, your game will not sell as well. It's logical, you know? It's logical. Oh my god. Babel, Dead on Arrival, Star Wars Outlaws with that character. Oh. That's, when I saw that character, I was like, Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you know, they should have had a character generator in that game. So yes. it would appease everybody. Let people create their mm. own characters. Yes. So that, but I, I'm assuming because it's too much money or too much on the game for putting that aside. Well, I, I think it's worth putting that in. That way it appeases everybody and appeases the people in the company that are like, we're trying to appease everybody by, by giving you a really oh, ugly no. character, which doesn't make any sense. You're still mad at me? Was you digress. Bad, bad. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? Me and Kim stick no. to playing games that we like, and I don't play games that I don't like. Uh, I play games like MEO, you know, The Smiling Man, have a great mm. amount of fun there. Kim's playing Baldur's Gate, playing Legendary Tales, fun stuff. And you guys can chime in. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah absolutely. What are you guys playing? Let us know down below. Did you buy a copy of Concord? Did it live up to your expectations? Or was it a raving disaster? And guess what? Concord now is a very hard to find game because they yeah. pulled it. Oh, and they pulled out all sorts. Become one of those it's unicorns. becoming a collectible really? item. Even I want one. Even I want one. Goods delivered. I send everyone their cut. Just because, <laughs> just because I can always hold it up and say the game that disappeared yeah. after two weeks time. Ooh. Crazy stuff. I haven't seen that before. Five right? years it's from crazy. now, we'll jump back to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just to talk about it or something like that. So, guys, what are you playing? Let us know down below. So, anyways, guys, until Let's next go. time.